Rock bass are a species of freshwater fish in the sunfish family. Also known as goggle eye or red eye, these robust panfish are native throughout the Great Lakes region and kind of look like a cross between a smallmouth and a bluegill. According to Wikipedia, rock bass prefer clear, rocky areas, hence their name rock bass. With that said, I can't argue the fact that they do favor hard bottom substrates. However, according to my underwater observations throughout the Great Lakes, they should be referred to as wreck bass. Wherever we discover wooden wreckage within the littoral zone of the Great Lakes, schools of rock bass are inhabiting it. This particular wreck is a perfect example and lies in 10 feet of water in Lake St. Clair. It appears to be some type of barge that sunk decades ago. Today, its timbers are encapsulated with mussels and provide a clean, hard substrate that rock bass, I, I mean wreck bass, prefer. Enhancing this prolific habitat is the presence of vegetation. As you can see, the wreckage is encircled and enriched by a bed of vallisneria. Other fish, such as largemouth and smallmouth bass, appreciate the structure as well, yet none to the degree as the goggle eye do. You know, I never really gave it much thought before, but after viewing my footage, the tan coloration of a rock bass blends in beautifully with the muscle-coated structure. A quality that may serve them well should a predator come a-calling. I would guess this muskie visits this wreck on a regular basis, seeking an easy meal. And although he's the apex predator, he was visibly wary of our presence. Check this out. Did you know that the Great Lakes and its connecting waters support an abundant population of silver lamprey? These parasites prey on many of the fish species, including rock bass. Now these are not the invasive, potentially deadly sea lamprey, but native silver lamprey. This species has co-evolved with the Great Lakes fish for thousands of years, and surprisingly, silver lamprey parasitism doesn't negatively affect the sport fish population. Their favorite prey is lake sturgeon. We've documented sturgeon with several lamprey attached, but again, the silver lamprey parasitism doesn't affect the sturgeon mortality either. As always, thank you for your interest in my content. So give this video a like, and if you haven't yet, please click that little red subscribe button.